Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in front of the chickens, having my coffee, and I got bit by something last night. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's all red. <laughs> Romeo says good morning too. Today's video is going to be kind of short because I have to go into town, and I am getting four new tires for my truck get the oil changed, all that kind of stuff. So most of my day is going to be taken up by that, but I'm going to show you. Oh, let me show you my old tires first. <laughs> These are my old tires. They came with the truck. This one isn't as bad as the others, but look at that. They're so old. This one, yeah, needs new tires. Look at that. There's some areas where it's much thinner than this. But these came with the with the truck, and I've just been driving on them, and I've been hearing a lot of wheel sounds, lots of, you know that sound where it starts almost kind of like whopping, not really, but sort of. Yep, so I'm going to go get me some new tires today, and I had trouble finding them. I had to order them in, and most places they said, oh, it could take, you know, I could find one here, one there, you know, and I'm not going to Firestone. What's the matter, Papa? Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Hey, boy. Anyhow, they're weird sized tires, so the only place I could find them that they could get them in in a decent amount of time was Walmart. And they're not going to be fancy tires. They're not going to be off-road or, you know, anything like that. I just need some nice tires that are going to be safe. So me and Papa and when Judy gets here, we'll be safe. So I'm going to do that today, uh, have a look around at a few things. I'm tired. I woke up again in the middle of the night, couldn't get back to sleep. It's weird. I need to do my B vitamins. Yep, I need to do more of those. So, yeah, I might take you along with me to Walmart. <laughs> I need to pick up some stuff from the store anyhow. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to kill some time and go look, look around at things, wake up, have my coffee. And uh, hopefully get my new tires on without any problems. Look what I found, you guys. A certifiable, authentic four-leaf clover. I already know I'm a lucky lady, but I don't know. I have a feeling I'm going to get even luckier. Look at that. You know what it's going to be? Chicken food. I've had to do some serious pruning of my tomato plants because all the leaves on the bottom... They have a fungus, and this is new soil, so I don't know why it got the fungus on them, but it's where they get the the brown spots and the leaves start yellowing. So hopefully these will last. Mm, there's a little bug of some kind of on there. But look it, look it. I got my first tomato. Plenty of blooms. So I'm just going to baby this. Oh, yeah. There's all kinds of little bugs on this plant. I'm going to have to spray it down I think yeah I think that's the only tomato but I think they're gonna be all right these other ones are doing good oh this one's perked back up it's still developing its root system so it's gonna take a while for it to take off but if it takes off at all but hopefully it will look at that you guys you see that down there that is my first cucumber oh I'm so excited yep they've started growing up this here thing so and this one has a bloom on it. This one has bloom on it. I'm going to have some serious cucumbers. Look at my beautiful apple trees. Oh my gosh. What? I've got an apple. Look at this. What is this, you guys? What is that? Oh, I'm going to have to figure that out. But, yeah, so Mr. Lucas had piled up a bunch of uh, clay on top of the soil that I had mounded up, and I tried to water it, and what happened is the clay soil formed like a rock-solid dome over it, so I pulled it back. I'm going to have to pull more back and mound some more soil over the top of it so that the water can go down easily. But look, oh my gosh. I've already got an apple. This is the gala apple tree, gala, whatever. This one is doing just fine too. None of those weird looking leaves. Ah, oh, a little bit. That could have been damaged from the, um, you know, the car ride, the truck ride. I don't know. But, oh, look at that. You see that? 
All right, so I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to get something and get those bugs off of there. Sure does look pretty out on my property. Yes, it does. My new neighbors over there. Ooh, I got to see the inside of their tiny house and it is gorgeous. That dude has been working his butt off. But I just love the way it looks back in here. It's so pretty this time of the year. I've got this stuff growing all over my trees. I need to look it up and see what it is. It sure is pretty. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to touch it until I know what it is. But it is everywhere. And oh yeah, I got plenty of this growing as well. Look at these pretty flowers, you guys. Oh yes, I'm going to find out what these are for sure. And there's a whole bunch more fixing to come out. Look at how pretty they are. They are just gorgeous. Oh yeah. There's another one over here. Yep, I'm definitely going to want to preserve these because they are just gorgeous. Somebody just laid an egg. Yeah, Leghorn over there making lots of noise. Come on, Roxy, don't be mean. Anyway, I haven't been letting the chickens free range because they've just been going too far all the way across the street to Mr. Lucas' property and I don't want that. So, I, I have considered not letting them free range at all, but I've also considered maybe just finding a way to close off a large section for the chickens back here. I don't think I have enough fencing, but I might. Um, I just don't know. I'm thinking, I don't know, bring it from like the back of the shed in back of the water tank over maybe towards that tree, behind that tree, and then down and across here. I think that's a pretty big yard and I think they'll have plenty to forage out here. So I don't know, I just want them to have their freedom but I want them to be safe and I don't want them to stray too far. So I'm gonna have to do some thinking on this. So if you have any suggestions on what I can do, you know, to keep these chickens kind of free ranging, but not free raining all over the place, let me know. Um, I just don't wanna keep them cooped up in this yard all the time. It's the safest way and, but it's gonna cost me more on feed. Plus, if I can get them to free range in that area out there, they can eat my weeds. <laughs> I won't have to mow as much, that's for sure. So, let me know your thoughts. I think I'm just going to make this a really short video today. I'm going to go into town, and I'll load it, upload it while I'm going into town because it's going to be faster. I'm just so tired today. Whew, I hope I get a good night's sleep tonight. I got to get me some B vitamins in, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.